So this is the piston that we hurt. Alright, so since we haven't been working on the Mustang or the S10 the past month or so, we'll show you what we have been up to. That was the moment I knew I was in love. Ooh. That's not how they look in the movies. I don't know. Maybe. Let's turn it around and out. Yeah. We need to just shape it up better. Oh, it'll start. That's two pumps. <laughs> he said, oh, it'll start. Oh, the back pumps. one just broke loose. It was stuck. Cold, it's probably eight degrees. <laughs> yeah. It's got to chop that ice up, remember? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take this uh, cylinder head off. We're gonna get this apart and look and see what the what this side of the engine looks like. Bring her in here. <laughs> True. Like that. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we got the oil draining, and uh, we're gonna go eat dinner. We come back. I'm gonna pull pull the oil pan off, and uh, I'm gonna pull the timing cover off, pull the camshaft out, and then we'll start taking the crank and the rods, the pistons out. These Cloy's timing covers are really nice because they're adjustable. They have an adjustable cam button. You can set your your play there. There you go. Chain off. Now, set the chain over here. And we'll put this back on. That way we can get the camshaft out. And we'll put our cam bolts back in. No wear hardly at all on this camshaft. Um, just a little bit, but not bad. Cam's not hurt. Nothing's wrong with it. Has a lot of street miles on it, so it's good to see that everything looks good. So as you can see here, it's an old Summit crankshaft. It's actually Cola, but Summit has their name stamped on there. It's a really old crankshaft. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna pull these pistons and rods out. So what I've done is I've loosened my rod bolts. That's gonna allow me to just lightly tap that will separate so that way I can loosen this and I can take the cap off and then I can push down on the rod and get the rod and piston out okay so there's our first rod and our first piston everything looks pretty good on it We've got just a little bit of dome to them Now one thing that's important, you always want to label them as you take them out. That way you don't lose track of which one is which. So this is the piston that we hurt. As you can see, it just burned a hole right through that thing. I didn't know that it was that bad until you, uh, you actually get it out. You can see that it ate, ate the skirt all up. Alright, so we've got our crankshaft out. Now we're down to just a bare block and we're going to send it to the machine shop and I think what we're going to do is we are going to sleeve this cylinder and reuse the pistons that we already have. They have a little bit of dome to them but I'm going to look and see if I can get a set of heads that have a little bit bigger combustion chamber. Put a thick gasket on them and uh, try to lower the compression down a little bit but we're going to try and run it with those pistons. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Yeah.